Hey, God bless you, my friend. This is Sister Sharon, and today I am excited because I want to give you an illustration. This building used to be a Bally's Fitness. Now, I don't know if in your region, friends, you all have Bally's Fitness, but it went out of business, and you wouldn't believe this used to be the building. They totally gutted this building out, re furbished or remodeled and friends it took them about six months and I was thinking what what why don't they just tear this thing down and start over well friends God is the same way he don't just tear us down he worked from the inside out and I want to encourage you to never forget that friends God works from the inside out out. And even though we might kind of look the same on the outside, the work is being done from the inside. And I want to encourage you to pay attention to what's going on inside of you. That's where God speaks to us. That's where he leads and he guides. He gives us inspirational thoughts. And if your mind is caught up on the cares of your life, family, friends, money, honey, I... Well, <laughs> When I say, honey, some of y'all, all you do is complain. You ain't got no nobody to share your ice cream with. You ain't got nobody to walk to the park with. All you do is complain, 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 complain. And when you are doing this in your heart, you cannot hear the navigation, the GPS of heaven, which is the Holy Spirit. And I'm only speaking that as a as a uh, symbolism, friends, the Lord navigates us. But what they did with this building was phenomenal. I rode by this building many times during their construction, and I just couldn't believe it. I said, what are they doing? And they really didn't do much to the outside. It's the inside that's been made new. And yeah, they put up a few of those black, like, what do you, I forgot what you call those things. They put those up, but other than that, this building pretty much looks the same. But when you walk up on it, all made new. And that's how it is, beloved. I want to encourage you to keep checking and protecting the inside of you. The secret place where the Most High God dwells is in our spirit. He is spirit. And they that worship, when we worship, it is in spirit and it is in truth. And ooh, this little nugget just dropped in my spirit. Listen, friends. Many people are getting confused that worship is not singing songs to God necessarily. Worship is a lifestyle. It is what you're doing behind closed doors. That's real worship to God when you are in your private time honoring him, staying away from the people and the things that do not honor God. Friends, that is worship when you present your body as a living sacrifice. So don't be deceived, friends, because there are many people offering up all types of strange fire, if you will. That's what the Bible regards it. Having them a good old time, singing, dancing, and ha just, just having a good time. Beloved, you got to come away from that and walk this thing out every day. Don't be deceived, but pay attention to what's going on inside of you. Are you growing as you're going? Pay attention because renovation is continual. It doesn't even matter once the tenants or whoever they rent this space to, at the end of the day, listen, friends, they still got to walk that thing out. They got to walk it out. Oh, yes, friend, you got to walk this thing out. You got to walk it out. So I bless you today in the name of Jesus, and I encourage each and every last one of us, pay attention to what's going on inside of you. Till next time. God bless and be encouraged.